It is the first ever Airbus A350-900 in the Turkish Airlines livery from Harper Wings, and it is a brand new 2021 release. Now, if that doesn't call for a review, I don't know what else would do. So with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A350-900 of Turkish Airlines. At the front of the box, we have a cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside. And on top of that, we have the Turkish Airlines branding. And as good as all that sounds, unfortunately, the back side of the box is a little bit of a letdown, because here Hapa follows their dreadful box design. I really do wish that 2022 will offer us something better than this. And here she is, the Airbus A350-900 in the current standard livery of Turkish Airlines. Now, the A350 is a relatively new aircraft within the Turkish Airlines fleet. In fact, the aircraft this model is based upon was only delivered in end of October 2020 and is in fact the first of so far five A350s that have joined the Turkish Airlines fleet. So, has happened on a decent job in replicating this aircraft into scale 500? Well, we will find out by taking a closer look at the tail section to start with, where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Turkish Airlines branding. On the fuselage, we then have the usual Turkish tulip. We have the full registration code of the aircraft and the aircraft type specification, as well as a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust towards the very tail of the aircraft. When we look at the top of the fuselage, we can see HAPA has added not one but two sat domes, which is nice because the aircraft in real life does also have that. The only issue we find here is simply that the front sat dome is massively oversized. I mean, it is humongous compared to what the real aircraft does carry around. And that is a bit disappointing. Then at the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we find the writing of Turkish Airlines and next to that we have the Turkish flag. What we also find here is that Herpa has added some static ports and sensors in the print which is of course very nice. And we also find a Star Alliance logo of which the airline is a full member. The cockpit section itself is I think rather nice. We have the cockpit windows with the black mask typical for the A350 and also the window wipers. And above that all we also have the emergency hatch for the cockpit printed on. The engine nacelles have been kept in all white just as most of the fuselage but do carry the silver leading edge and the additional safety relevant markings that HAPA has started to print on since beginning of 2021. So that's nice because it really does improve the overall look of the engines. Where HAPA is also doing nice with the engines is the physical detailing which I think looks really decent especially here from the front where we very nicely can see the engine fan blades. If we then move on from the engines and take a look at the wings, we can see here at the top side, we have the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out very nicely. We have the marking on the wing as to where to walk and we have the full registration code printed on as well, which we also find here on the underside of the wing, including some more physical detailing. But of course, my highlight on the wings are the winglets, where I think Hepa has also done very nice with including the Turkish Airlines branding. Then we can also take a quick look at the landing gear. That is the standard landing gear that HAPA has used for quite some time now on all the Airbus A350s with the larger wheel sets on the main landing gear. So that looks all right. And the front landing gear, I think, is also overall pretty decent. But I am missing some printed details here. The printed detail that I didn't get on the front ending gear, I do, however, seem to get on the belly of the aircraft, where Harper has added the Turkish Airlines branding. However, they have then decided to destroy this with a hole in the fuselage for a stand which is not included with this aircraft model, making it totally pointless. And then last but certainly not least, and also not pointless, is the addition of the doors to the car compartments, which Harper has added here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A350-900 in the current standard livery of Turkish Airlines from Harpa Wings and scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? I mean, to make it short, I think it's a rather good aircraft model. There isn't really much that I really disagree with. I mean, the print quality is good and Harpa has added some of these additional print details. Of course, I would always like to have more, but every little bit helps. And especially with an aircraft like this, where the livery is predominantly kept in white, it really does make a difference when Harpa adds just a few more details here and there. The physical detailing overall is, I think, also pretty good. I don't think Hapa has ever had really massive issues with the A350. You could argue that the mold for the A350-1000 is better than the mold for the A350-900, 
but I don't think that the mode for the 900 is terrible. In fact, I think I can definitely live with the way it looks. So yeah, the only issue I really have when it comes to physical detailing is simply the really massively oversized front set dome. It would have been nice if Apple had actually paid attention here and, well, added it in a correct size. But other than that, I think it is an excellent aircraft model. It's definitely one of the better A350s Hapa has made so far. And because of that, and because I also think the Turkish Airlines livery suits the A350, I would say it's absolutely worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.